so I know what it means to have community. So I'm running for governor, and I'm actually very encouraged to see other young leaders stepping up. So I, I really appreciate that. That's, that's a really good thing. Margaret, I was one of those kids in school that actually paid attention to the teachers and the principal and said, you're the next generation of leaders, so you're going to have to step up. So I actually you know, paid attention to that. So, so it's my fault you know, that I actually paid attention to school. But uh, listen, we are in a unique time right now, in, not only in our state, but in our country. We need a strong leader here in Colorado that's going through take us into the 21st century. Let me tell you a little bit about my background. I grew, grew up in a single parent household. My mother had six children, two sets of twins. I'm a twin myself, I have a twin sister named Erica. And things were not easy. You know, we grew up in a housing project and all I did was try to dream big and try to look at ways on how I can be successful. So eventually I started a digital technology company uh, in Atlanta and then we moved it to Colorado and we've been here for many years now and uh, so I'm not only an employer but I understand the business but I understand what it takes to get this economy you know keeping on track because Colorado is a great economy but there's a lot of people getting left behind from rural Colorado to urban Colorado and I want to make sure that people from rural Colorado and urban Colorado ride that wave you know, in our great economy that we have here in the state. There are key pillars to my uh, campaign that I think you guys should look for. One, I actually have a plan for free college and education here in the state. So if you're a single parent, that's right. That's right. If you're a single parent and, 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 you, and you're, you come from a hardworking family, rest assured, if I become the next governor, I have a plan, and it's called the Colorado Hope Grant. And the Colorado Hope Grant is any high school graduating senior coming out of high school with a D plus average can go to a public university here in Colorado, whether it's CSU or University of Colorado or community college or a trade school. Here's how we pay for it. There is an excess of over $300 million from the state lottery that's capped at $69 million. So all the excess just goes into this fund. I want to take that money from the state lottery fund and fund my scholarship program for deserving students here in the state. <laughs> we need this because not only will, will we create next generation of leaders here in our state, but we, it'll also contribute to our economy as well having educated people, whether it's through trade school or through a college university, and they stay right here in the state, keep you know, helping this economy stay strong. The second pillar of my campaign is a program that I want to act. Now, let me tell you something a little bit about me here. I am a candidate that is about solutions, not sound bites. So anything that I tell you what I'm going to do, I'm going to tell you how we want to do it and how we want to get it. So uh, we have this uh, you know, big problem with undocumented immigrants here, and DACA is up in the air now. So I have a plan for that, and it's called uh, the Come Out of the Shallows program. It's called COOPS for short. What it does is it helps to make an undocumented immigrant a legal resident here in this state through a process. Now, what is that process? The process is, there is a program fee that we're asking those uh, undocumented uh, immigrants to pay, pay into. And I'm gonna tell you what we're gonna do with that program fee in a second. And then they stay out of trouble for two years, they will become a state legal resident in Colorado. And that's what I'm gonna do to work with our legislature to enact my COOTS program here in the state. Because we have to embrace our neighbors they are here to stay, and I want to welcome them to Colorado because we have to do something about it. If Washington is unwilling to act on immigration reform, then I am going to act as the next governor of Colorado because that's the right thing to do. We cannot afford to keep kicking this can down the road for it to be someone else's problem. I am going to at least solve the problem here in Colorado. 
Now, there is other things that I want to talk about. Uh, education, for example. We need to innovate our school and our school programs. You know, gone are the days of wood shop and home economics, right? We are in the 21st century. We need to teach computer programming in school. We need to teach the next generation. So if they choose to want to go up from high school to a job, they can. We need to give them these um, skills and tools necessary and available so they can take on you know, the next uh, phase of their life when they leave high school. We have to do that. And I am going to be a leader. Now, I'm going to close by saying this. <laughs> not, not only do I want to be the next governor of Colorado, but I want to be the next leader for the Democratic Party. When I am not in the four corners of this state, or when I am not helping on legislative issues at the state capitol solving our problems here at home, and I have to go in a pickup truck with other Democrats to help elect people from dog catcher to state houses to other governors around this country, then I will do so, because now is the time to act. We cannot afford to sit on the sidelines and let President Twitter fingers destroy our country and to tear the moral fiber of our country. We cannot do that. So I'm going to be a Democratic activist, if you will, when I become elected governor of Colorado, because we have to solve these issues and we all have to work together and we have to reclaim these other state houses in other states and we have to do that in order to move this country along. Because what's happening right now nationally, it, it's a problem and it's going to get worse. So we have to stand up now and that's why I'm running for governor. Thank you very much and uh, I appreciate your vote. Thanks.